Hi everyone, it's Nicole here for Simon Says Stamp and I've got a couple of cards to share with you featuring the April 2019 card kit, Hello Darling. I'm going to do some solid stamping with Simon Says Stamp dye inks and then we're going to add shading with Polychromos colored pencils to really give these single layers a lot of depth and dimension. The Hello Darling stamp set included in the April kit is perfect for this technique. It's full of fantastic solid images, all kinds of beautiful florals. Whether you choose to do like the flower pots like I'm doing here, there's a large sentiment, there's larger leaves, um, a cute bicycle, lots and lots of images for building little scenes or cards that you can add shading with your polychromos or Prismacolor colored pencils. I started by stamping a sentiment on some of the ivory cardstock from the kit that I trimmed down to four and a quarter by five and a half inches. I'm stamping the sentiment with Simon Says Stamp black dye ink. After I had stamped the first one, I decided to go ahead and stamp two at once. So each time I am stamping an image from the Hello Darling stamp set, I'm stamping it on both pieces of cardstock. That way I can create two cards in one. The only difference between the two cards is I'm gonna switch the sentiment that I use so that each of them says something a little different. I used the just a card to say hello and you're amazing. And I'm also using from the bottom of my heart, thank you. There's another sentiment that would work well in here. And actually two of the other sentiments from this stamp set I think would work great. There's a hello there that you could color in. Um, and then today is the perfect day because I know you. Um, it's in the same style as these. That would fit as well. So lots and lots of different ways to create this. Those straight lines are bracketing up the sentiment. Those were stamped with Simon Says Stamp Seafoam ink. And then we're gonna do the planters in two shades of blue. The first color is Cloudy Sky. And I will stamp the other one in a little bit. I couldn't decide exactly what color of blue I wanted to use, so I actually laid out all of the stems for my flowers first, and I'm gonna come back to that second flower pot here in a second. I used Simon Says Stamp Catkin ink. I love this green ink. It's fantastic for shading. It's a great color of green, number one. And then when you put a little colored pencil on top, it just looks amazing. And then I used Caribbean Blue for the other flower pot, which worked beautifully. There was a little gunk on my stamp, and so it didn't, it had that little faint spot in it. I removed that and just re-stamped it so it would look a little crisper. Here's that other sentiment that I'm gonna go ahead and stamp right now. And then I did line up all the flowers, but I decided I didn't want them all the same color. So I started with Twirling Tutu, and I didn't worry that some of the ink got on some of the other flowers. We can cover that up. Twirling Tutu was kind of the lightest color of the bunch. So I can cover up anything that may be transferred with the others. I went ahead and cleaned that stamp and removed it. And then I'm using Hollyhock ink for the next flower. In fact, each of the flowers is gonna be in a different color, but they all coordinate and go, to, go together really well. Most of the flowers are gonna be pink, but I'm gonna throw in a little yellow and a little orange as well. The next flower is gonna be Sunkissed. That's going to be the orange color of ink. And then the yellow flower is going to be out of duckling. And you can really see these little flower pots coming to life, all of this great spring kind of images and colors. This is a perfect card kit for your spring card making. That final little flower over on the left-hand side, we're gonna stamp that with rose apple. And make sure and do both panels. You could even do more than two cards at one time if you wanted to and create a whole set of these cards maybe to even give as a gift. 
The little hearts are all stamped with rose apple. So I've got the little hearts down by the sentiment. I'm going to grab a couple more hearts from the Hello Darling stamp set and stamp those up above to round out the heart design. I always like to do my embellishments in an odd number and that darker pinkish red color kind of gives a nice visual triangle with those two hearts up high. Finally, I added another little bloom down near the base of one of the flower pots, and I'm going to add leaves down near the base of the other flower pot with the catkin ink. And that rounds out both of my backgrounds. Now they could be used as is if you want to. I guess I did add some little circles or little trio of dots to some of the flowers using the catkin ink and the images from the Hello Darling stamp set. These cards could be used as is. You could simply put this on a side fold or top fold card base and your card is good to go. I decided to go ahead and add some shading with Polychromos colored pencils. I've listed the colors on the screen in case you're wondering exactly which color I used for each area of the card design. This is earth green yellowish. I used only one shade and I'm not going to blend this particular colored pencil out with Gamsol, but I will be doing that a little bit later on for the flower pots especially, and you'll see that when I get to that part of the video. There you can see the difference between adding shading and not. On the darker of the two flower pots, the Caribbean blue one, I'm going to use Helio Turquoise to add my shading. This shading wasn't too bad. I did come back at the end and add in some Gamsol to smooth out those pencil lines just a little bit. Um, probably wouldn't have had to, but I did blend it out on the lighter of the two. And that's because I really had a hard time finding a colored pencil that was the same color as the ink I used. I ended up using cobalt turquoise and it was just enough darker that it was the pencil lines were really kind of harsh. By adding a little Gamsol with a stump pencil and blending that out into the inked flower pot, it gives a fantastic result. Gives it a really natural look, adds that beautiful shading, almost like you have colored it in with markers or colored the whole thing in with with colored pencils. I just really love the effect and how this looks. Especially for such a big surface area, I think that the Gamsol with the colored pencils is super effective. Now it's time to add the colored pencil to the flower blooms. I'm using several shades of pink here for my pink flowers. Some of them have more than one color and some don't. It just really depends. I tried to pick colors that complemented the stamp colors or the ink colors that I used for the flower blooms. I used rose carmine, fuchsia, and middle purple pink for all of these flowers. And we'll go ahead and do the flowers on the other panel as well. Instantly, this adds depth and dimension to the florals. Next, we're gonna use a little dark flesh color to add to our lightest color flower. For all of the flowers, I really didn't use Gamsol at all. I left in the pencil lines I think it adds some great texture to the blooms. For the hearts, we're going to use pink carmine. And I am going to use Gamsol and a stump pencil for these just to smooth out the pencil lines a little bit. It's personal preference. If you don't want to add any of that blending, you don't have to, or you could blend everything that you color. And that just deepens and darkens that bottom edge of the hearts and gives it fantastic dimension. 
We have our orange and yellow blooms left. So we'll add a little color to both of these with orange, an orange colored pencil that, and then the Naples yellow for our yellow bloom. And then we're ready to finish up our card. This panel could be adhered directly to a card base if you wanted to. I decided to mat it on some of the very pretty pattern paper in the kit. And we'll sh I'll show you that here in just a second. And there's a look at the finished shading. Using some of the Simon Says Stamp basic rectangles, we're going to die cut our stamped and colored panels with the second largest rectangle from the set. You could also trim this down if you wanted to, but a die makes it really easy to center the stamped image or whatever you're trying to die cut so that it's perfectly aligned. I'm also going to die cut some of the pattern paper from the kit, the Simple Stories Spring Farmhouse 6x8 paper. We're going to use the black and white gingham and then kind of the sea foam, sea foam and ivory gingham. And I'm going to use that largest die to die cut those backgrounds as well. Again, you could trim out those with a paper trimmer if you wanted to. Once I have all of my background pieces, all I'm going to do is mat these die cut panels onto our pattern paper panels and then go ahead and adhere them to our card bases. And there is a look at one of the finished cards. We'll adhere the other one. And we have a beautiful set of cards using just stamps, inks, and colored pencils. Polychromos or Prismacolors, any colored pencil is going to add lots of fantastic depth and dimension to your solid stamped images. Thank you so much for joining me today for this set of cards featuring the April 2019 Simon Says Stamp Card Kit. Please be sure to visit the Simon Says Stamp blog for more information. Thanks for watching and we'll catch you next time.